Every day it gets harder to move, harder to stand, harder to walk, and harder to breathe. I know I'm killing myself with food, and every bite I take gets me closer to ending my life. Flying out to meet Dr. Now is just gut-wrenching at this point. I'm so not used to being out in a public place like an airport. But I'm trying to hold it together, and I'm freaking out a little bit. The yard is 687 pounds. So I want to see 100 pounds weight loss in two months. If you do that, I will approve you for weight loss surgery, OK? okay. Since seeing Dr. Now, I've been hitting my diet and exercise hard. I've started working out at a nearby gym. I'm sticking to eating only three times a day with food that's on Dr. Now's diet plan. You lost 92 pounds in two months, so I am approving you for weight loss surgery, OK? All right. All right. Awesome. But you need someone to move with you down here to Houston. This could definitely be an opportunity to rebuild the relationship that I have with my mom. I'm not going to be able to be with you, honey. This yeah. is just really bad timing. Right. I'll talk to you later. This isn't the first time that my mom hasn't been able to come through. What do you do now? Who do you take? I was kind of hoping you'd be able to make it. If it's got you losing the weight, uh, we're going to keep it that way. Today, we are attempting to do a gastric sleep procedure on Justin. He stayed determined and on track with his weight loss. So I feel like he's more than ready for this operation. OK, all finished. I wonder if there are opportunities to stick up for yourself with your mom in ways that increase your self-worth moving forward. That's what you've always done, is you just up and leave. And all I can ever do is say that I'm sorry for not being the mother that you deserve. I just kind of feel like I don't know if words are enough. That's a good one. Dude, that's killing it, man. Yeah, that's a really good one. So, Justin, you have lost 292 pounds from day one I saw you. Yeah. So that's almost loss of 200 pounds in a year. That's excellent. You're doing great. And at this rate, you're going to need extra skin removal soon. As I prepare to officially cross the one-year mark of my weight loss journey, I wanted to do something to give me a permanent reminder of my journey so far by getting a tattoo. And my dad's getting the same exact tattoo because he's been on this journey with me. It's hard for me to believe how far I was able to come in just a year, and how much my life has changed for the better with how much I can do now, and how good I feel. I'm going to be under 300 soon, which is exciting. But with all that weight loss, the downside is a lot of excess skin all over my body. So my next big goal I'm working towards is to lose enough weight to get skin removal, before that gets a lot worse for me and starts to be a bigger issue. Because I don't want to let anything start to slow me down right now. I'm more active than I've ever been, and I want to keep pushing myself to do more. Hey. I've even started jogging, and that amazes me. I still can't go far because I'm still over 300 pounds and it hurts my back. But before I started my weight loss journey, this level of physical activity could have been fatal to me. So I'm proud of myself for my progress and to have the chance to experience new things. And that others are seeing my progress too, because I got contacted about speaking at a weight loss conference. And I'm excited about that and the chance to inspire others. My dad is still here with me in Houston, but I told him that I think I'm ready to be here on my own if he wants to go back to South Carolina. Because he's put his life on hold long enough for me. So he plans to go back home in the next month, and I'm going to stay down here on my own to keep working on getting to my goal. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Do you want something uh, for lunch? OK. I'll come in there in a minute. All right.
I don't think they have words for how proud I am of him. He's still losing weight, and everything's right on track. I mean, the doctor tells him to lose another 20 pounds by this day, and sure enough, he'll do it. I don't think he's missed a number yet. I try to eat some of the food that he eats, um, but he's in no danger of me eating it no more. I mean, I, I tried it for a couple days, but yeah. I'm just totally blown away that he's stuck to it. He hasn't wavered a bit. The dedication is just admirable. It really is. I'm liking who he's becoming now because I mean, he's got goals and he's meeting them and he's just not letting something that has affected him bring him down and under. You know, he's rising over top of it, which is awesome. Finn, Finn, what's going on, buddy? You're getting ready to taste some broccoli. Yeah, that's right. You gonna make him gassy, man? Hmm? You see how quick he gave up? Yeah, because there's food behind it. Did you go running today? I tried, yeah. I still can't go very far, 100 feet or so at a time. I can imagine with all that loose skin, it's not going to help. No, it's like running with a lead apron. Just get your body used to it. Yeah. I know I still have a ways to go to get to my goal, and not just physically. So I'm also still going to therapy to try and deal with the issues that drove me to eat in the first place. But I'm willing to keep doing all the things I need to stay on track, because I'm excited about the new experiences I'm able to have now, like the chance to inspire others at the conference in a couple weeks. So I just want stuff like that to keep coming to me, so it doesn't stop. The next big step for me to do that is to have skin removal. So I'm really hoping I get approved for that at my next appointment with Dr. Now soon. You getting your heart rate up? Doctor now said it's got to be 130. I have a low heart rate anyways. Same here. Mine's only 92. I'm here at the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America's conference as a speaker. I've been asked to share some things about my weight loss journey with one of Dr. Now's other patients, Christina Phillips. And I'm a little nervous about doing some public speaking, but I'm excited to have this opportunity to inspire other people with how far I've come. It feels really good to think that I could help others who struggle with their weight by sharing what I've been able to do. And it's also really cool to chat with Christina because we've both gone through the same thing in a way that makes it feel like we're old friends, even though we only met recently. Hello, everybody. But this is a very special session. Our two speakers, Justin Reeves and Stephen Phillips, and thank you for being public. This is crazy that I'm about to speak to a conference room full of people. A year ago, I never would have believed I'd be capable of doing anything like this. I have my food set up for delivery at different times of the day, so I always have what I need and I never have to go out because I don't like to ever go out. And doing normal things and having a normal day is just not something that's possible for me anymore. And here I am now, and I can hardly believe it. So I used to weigh 687 pounds. Weight loss surgery has made an incredible difference on my life, but one of the most important lessons I've gotten out of it is that it really is just a tool. And it takes so much more than that to get yourself to where you want to be. I've dealt with a lot of mental health challenges as well. And I think the hardest part was really the first step and going to see a therapist regularly for over a year before I was even able to reach out for help. That's where weight loss surgery comes into play and really makes a difference. It's given me an opportunity to, to find new interests and new passions. And I realized that I may be somebody who deserves a chance at life. And with that, I'll pass it off to Christina. Thank you. Um, well, I started my journey in 2012. At over 700 pounds, I traveled from Memphis all the way to Houston and talked to Dr. Nell, and I've lost over 500 pounds. Um, in the beginning, you feel so alone, and it was either I try to do this or I die. But yeah, it's been a long journey, and it's been really rough, but I'm better now. Congratulations. Thank you.
This has been such an impactful and flattering experience, and I'm humbled to be here to have the chance to do this and help others. So this whole experience has really motivated me even more to keep pushing forward. Being a part of events like this really helps me keep motivated. I had weight loss surgery six years ago, almost. The surgery changed my life because I wasn't able to move more than eight feet without being out of breath. You know, there was one point in my life where I was just hopeless. I fear that I'll just keep getting bigger until my heart stops. It's terrifying. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to change it all. And now it feels amazing knowing that I can inspire someone else because if it wasn't for seeing other people's journeys, I would have never started my own. My next big step is still skin removal. I feel like I need it now more than ever because the skin is really starting to sag and become uncomfortable. I have my next appointment with Dr. Now in a few weeks, and I'm hoping that's when I get my approval. So that's what I'm working towards. There's no letting up now because I'm never going back to how I was.